Hi everyone, welcome to Ketu Blogging and in this video I will show you 5 speed test website that you can use to analyze the speed of your website. So as you can see that Core Web Vitals is now a ranking factor and if you have a slow loading website then it also impact the ranking in Google search. So you need to work on your speed. So basically it is a part of page experience signal where Core Web Vitals it will include like largest contentful paint. FID and CLS or cumulative layout shift. So you have to fix all of your visual stability, loading and interactivity of your website and you can improve your page experience in website. So for this you need to use some speed test websites like all you have known that PageSpeed Insight is a very good page speed test tool that you can use but there are several other page speed insight tool as well that you should know to improve your website further. So let's get started. So the first tool is obviously the page speed insight or it is a tool developed by Google itself. So you can directly enter your website and see the results. So let me just enter my website here and let me just analyze this website. And as you can see that the web page score is very high and here are the lab test result. But you can see that there is some difference in the real world result. Here I am getting LCP of 3 seconds but in lab test I am getting LCP of 1.5 seconds. So the data between lab test and real world map vary because this data will directly come from the real users that are using Chrome browser. So it will take the Chrome user experience report and show up here. But that's why we need to use multiple websites to figure out which uh, portion of your website or which code is causing the issue. So here as you can see that here in PageSpeed Insight you will see suggestions based on these things like it will show the render blocking resources, it will show the big size images, it will ask you to lazy load images, it will ask you to minify CSS, minify JS, it will ask you to reduce unused CSS, JavaScript and it asks you to use WebP format or next gen image format. Then there is text compressions, pre-connect and there is more option like avert, serving legacy JavaScript. It will ask you to preload largest contentful paint images and there are various metrics that will show up in this website. But you can use other websites as well like you can use the key CDN to learn more metrics for your website. So let me just enter my website here as well. Now here you can choose the location. So let me just choose a location like San Francisco and let me just test this website. And I will do the same with other page speed test as well. So let me just go to the website webpagetest.org and here also I will enter my website address. And here I can choose different options like mobile desktop and here I will choose this option mobile and let's start the test so it will take some time to test the website now let's go to the another website it is the tools.pingsdom.com so you can also use the pingdom website to test the website speed so let me just enter the website address here and let me just choose the location to washington dc and i will start the test now there are another website called GT Matrix. You can also use this website to track your web page speed. So let me just enter my website address here and here you can click on the analyze option here and this option will only show if you have created a free account in GT Matrix and here you can select the location. So here are the locations available. So let me just select the location USA and here you can select the options desktop chrome and here you can select the on total connection now let's analyze the website here as well so let's go to the first website and as you can see that it is saying that it is taking 1.22 second for the page to load and the total size is 221 kb and if you check the page speed inside the total size is also 128 kb so as you can see that you may see vary in page size in different tools so here you will see this option sort initial server response time but here you will see this option reduce initial server response time. So the 
metrics vary from tools to tool and here as you can see that is saying deliver asset from CDN and it has also um, check different options like lazy load images minify javascript is enabled or not minify css is enabled or not so you can see the data here like total request total images css and javascript um, percentage and here you can see all the detail metrics here like the here you can see that total blocking time dns time tls time so all this time will be add it here and you can see this header code as well so let's go to the next website and here you can see that in web page test.org here you will see a detailed report of your website and it's saying that page is loading around 1.8 second so it is taking 1.8 second to load the entire front section or the entire website and here you will see the fast contentful paint lcp score cls score as well and here you will see this option time to fast byte and here you will see the content breakdown and here you will see a lot of graphs as well and let me just select uh, other reports here so let me just select the web vital here and here you can see the web vitals of this website now here you can choose different options so let me just select this option optimization and here you can see different optimization options like as you can see that the ggp uh, G enable the image compression is enabled and change st static um, is enabled so you can see different options in this website now let's click on here so let's click on content here and here you can break down your content like total number of images how these resources are loading in your website so this website gives a detailed analytics compared to PageSpeed Insight so you can also use this tool alongside the PageSpeed Insight now let's move on to the next website Pingdom and here as you can see that it is saying that the total page size is 367 kb and the total load time is 696 millisecond and it is saying that ggp compression is not enabled here and it is saying that add expire header and here you can see the content breakdown here so pingdom is very basic tool here you will get a little suggestions compared to other websites now let's go to the gt matrix and here also you will see different matrix like it is taking 0 0.9 second to load the website where here you will see the time to fast byte, fast contentful paint, on load time, time to interactive, LCP. So it will show all the detailed metrics in a graphical format. And here you can see the top issues here, LCP, LCP, TBT, CLS. And here you can click on here and you can know more about this report. And here also see the page details like total number of images, image size, HTML size, CSS size so here you will see total number of requests for each of the resources and if you click on the performance here you will see the detailed score of each of the metrics and here you can see the structure and here it will suggest different options like if you have any error then it will show like low or high or something like that so here you can see all the suggestions whether you want to improve or not it also suggests you how you can improve this as well just click on this option how learn how to improve this so it will give you suggestions how to improve that error as well now you can also see the waterfall graph here and here you will see the different resources that are taking the time here and here you can filter it out with html css javascript forms images and here you can see the history and here you can see the video how the page is loading as well so these are the five page speed analyze tool that you can use to conduct a page speed first one is gt matrix another one is ping dump and the third one is web page test.org and i recommend this tool it is gives a lot of data compared to other tools and there is the key cdn so here you can see website speed test performance test https header checker you can check the http2 and you can check the broadly test as well and here you will see more options from here and the first one is obviously the page speed insight and there is one more technique to run the page speed test so for this 
I will go to the website and I will click on here and I will click on inspect here. Now I will click on here and I will click on lighthouse. So you can also run a page speed test using the inspect element. So here I will select the mobile here and here I will select all these options and let's click on analyze page load. So let's wait for the Chrome to analyze your website loading and it will show the relevant suggestions to improve the loading speed. And as you can see that the performance of this page is very low. But here note that if you are using a lot of Chrome extensions then it also impact the speed in this uh, test. That's why I recommend you to run this test in a incognito mode. So let me just do that. So I will go to incognito mode here and I will hit enter and let's test it again. So I will click on inspect here and I will go to lighthouse and let's analyze the page load. So in this way the Chrome extension will not hamper the page speed while testing it. So let's wait. And as you can see that the speed is improved significantly. So earlier the Chrome extension are causing the issue. That's why you need to run the test in incognito mode so that you will get the accurate data. So let's check the same page. So I will type like core web vitals and I will open the same page here and let's rerun the test. And I will go to lighthouse here and let's analyze the page load time. And as you can see that now it is saying 100% but earlier it is saying that 62%. That's because of the Chrome extension we are using. So always run the test in incognito mode. So I hope you have learned different ways to analyze the page speed of your website and and then we will cover one by one how to fix this error in your WordPress or Blogger website. So if you want to speed up your Blogger website, then I have already covered a dedicated playlist to solve these type of issues. And if you are using WordPress and I also made some videos relating how to improve the score in WordPress as well. So I will link all the resources in the description. So go and check it out. And if you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button. And if you have any suggestions regarding this video, then leave it in the comment section. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.